Hello you, and welcome to An Evil Vet Plays. Uh, this session is An Evil Vet Plays GTA Online, and it's a very special inaugural session for An Evil Vet Plays. This is the very first video. Hopefully, the video quality is fine. Hopefully, the sound quality is fine. I'm doubting the sound quality after hearing some of the test videos, but we'll see. Hopefully things will improve as time goes on. I actually get a handle on how to do this properly. So, my name, as you can probably see on the screen there, my character's name is Adam. That's actually my real name, uh, but I go by the name of An Evil Vet. Bonus points if you manage to get a comment, first person in the comment, wins a thousand internet, if they're able to give me... The piece of media, because it might not be a film, it might be a song, it might be a CD-ROM version of an Encyclopedia Britannica from the late 90s. It might just be a book. It might be a random tramp who was standing on my corner and used to shout that at me. But a thousand internets go to whoever can quote the piece of media that that name comes from. This session is going to be a good one. We're going to be going through GTA Online. Now, there's loads of Let's Play videos out there of this. This one is going to be a little bit different. I'm setting myself a challenge. And the challenge is to get to level 50 as soon as possible. You'll see here I've got an empty character slot. Level 1. No skills at all. It's pretty much representative of me in real life. Uh, as you can see, though, I do have an existing character. That's the other one that's on there. Uh, there we go, level 43. See, I'm not even at level 50 yet, but I'm a good driver, I'm a good shooter, nearly awesome at flying, not very stealthy. That's mainly because of those very noisy shoes that I've got. But I'm creating a new character today, and the first episode is going to be relating about the creation of the character and also the introduction of it. So let's have a look. We're going to press A, we're going to select, and we're going to load this up. Okay, now it's been a very long while since I've seen this screen, so I'm going to have to take a moment to try and take this all in. So this is the me that's been generated. I'm shaking my head to the side, I have a Yeti on. Uh, we're looking at lifestyle. Okay, so to get started, how much time do you spend a day on the lifestyle options to the right? Now, we're going to make this as realistic as possible. So there's probably going to be a very low playing sports and working out, and a very high sitting on the toilet reading Reddit on my smartphone. So let's have a look. Lifestyle, asleep. How many hours a day do I spend asleep? Well, it's not ten and a half. Unfortunately, I'm not the best sleeper. We're looking at more six and a half to seven. So we'll go for seven. That's a bit more realistic. How often with friends and family? Well, it's a bit more than four, but four is the most we can do. As you can see, I'm, I'm scrolling to the right there. I can't do more than four hours. So we'll go for four. Playing sports and working out. So if you're not spending enough time on the run from cops and debt collectors, you might need to hit the gym. Gym rats might be better in running shoes and driving gloves, but their skin will be to die for. That's very nice, isn't it? We all need skin that causes high fatality rates in the people around us. So, playing sports and working out. How many hours a day? I mean, does walking to work and back count as playing sports and working out? I'm going to say it does, but even then, I only live 15 minutes away from my office. So, we're looking at half an hour for that. And look at that! It's actually added a hat on to my character. So the lazier my character is, the more type of hats he wears. Oh, it's changing now, he's got a beard. Oh, this is very strange as I'm flicking between the different options. Uh, so the higher it is, the more kind of sports equipment type of stuff they wear, the lower it is, the more beardy and hat wearing they become. I'm not sure what hat play a role in this, but they're on my, they're on my head. So I'm going to say three hours. I do go to the gym occasionally. Uh, it's, it's, it's very nice. Maybe not as much as I should do, but I do still go. Doing legal work. So unlike most of us working schlubs stuck in rush hour, attending international business meetings means you prefer traveling by air than by land. An honest day's work will improve your focus, but the stress may take its toll on your skin. A full working day is 
10 hours long. Ah, so it's not doing legal work. It's not like working as a barrister somewhere, although that is legal work. It's actually, do you actually do work that is legal? So maybe working at McDonald's, other fast food restaurants are available. Uh, working at Pizza Hut, other fast food restaurants are available. Or working at KFC. Uh, other fast food restaurants are available. Uh, I'm pretty hungry at the moment, hence the focus on fast food restaurants. Uh, I do do quite a bit of legal work. Uh, oh, it's turned me into a cowboy. No, uh, oh, no, not a cowboy. Some like a private dick. That's me. I'm Dick Tracy. I'm going to say uh, eight hours. We'll include lunch break in there, so it's not seven and a half, it's eight hours. So sitting on the couch. Well, at the bottom there, you can see I've got hours left to assign two, and I get to choose between sitting on the couch, partying, doing illegal work. So let's have a read of these descriptions. Sitting on the couch. As we all know, hours spent gaming have an impact on skin condition and general attractiveness. Well, yes, we know that. The more time spent gaming, the more attractive you are to the opposite sex, or the same sex, you know, I'm, I'm not bigot, I'm not choosy, either, uh, but sharpen the mind, and improve flying and driving skills, potential mates like that, right, I'm, I've got quite a few mates, you know, quite a few buddies I, I spend time with, I can sit on the couch for up to eight hours a day, okay, partying, drugs, hookers, and self-loathing are all good fun, but they take their toll. Parting has an adverse effect on general health, but teaches you how to survive on adrenaline alone, heightening sh shooting and stealth skills. Put my teeth in there. You can party for up to eight hours a day. And then finally, doing illegal work. Not legal work. <laughs> so not, not the whole barrister situation that we had before and I got confused about. With the economy where it is, some have to turn to illegal work to fund their murdering and drug habits. Like... Uh, working uh, overtime, but not getting paid for it, and not receiving time off in lieu, for example, or working a zero-hours contract for Sports Direct, and not turning up for your shifts. You'll look ravaged and paranoid, but you'll shoot and drive better than a than a square, a square like a town square. I'm, I'm, oh, or does it mean ah, drive better than a square, as in someone who works as a barrister? By doing legal work. The union dictates you can illegally work up to 10 hours a day. So that's good. That's, that's unionized activity. Well, I'm not much of a party animal. A little bit of social anxiety. So I try and avoid uh, events where people are having fun and congregating in crowds. I think I watched too many zombie films as a child. Uh, sitting on the couch, I do do some of that. We'll say, we'll say one and a half hours. And then we'll put half an hour into doing illegal work, uh, just to try and boost stats up. Uh, no, we, we won't. We won't. We're not, we're not doing illegal work. I'm going to say half an hour partying. And that goes towards my uh, time spent on the toilet reading Reddit. That's right. That's my party time. Okay, so uh, we can zoom in to me now. So this is me at the moment, but we still get to change things using the next tab. Heritage. Her heritage? Heritage. Let me go. Oh, I need to press B to go back. Okay. Heritage. Oh, my hat's disappeared. Apparently, if I look at my ancestry, a sudden wind catches me in the face and swoosh! My hat blows off. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it. It's over there? Or is it over there? I don't know. Okay, so my heritage. Let's have a look. My gender. Now, I know we're going for realistic here, but my current character is male, and what I like to do, and I'm sure there are a few others of you out there, is when I'm doing like a, an open world game like this, or say Skyrim, something on the Elder Scrolls or Fallout series, is I like to be a girl. Uh, and that, that says nothing, hopefully, about my, my real life. I'm quite masculine. I might not sound it, but I do have a beard and leg hair uh, and a receding hairline. Unfortunately. Uh, so, I'm going to go for female. We're just going to play play me the side. Explore our feminine side. There's nothing wrong with that. Hopefully. Please write a comment and let me know your opinions either way. So, that's me at the moment. Uh, looking very odd. Um, a bit Cortana from Halo in the hair. Uh, and, yeah, I'm not actually black in real life. 
uh, or or POC, person of color, or uh, Afro Caribbean, African American. Uh, and they were set in America in GTA Online, uh, or a fictional version of America. But maybe I'm from a different country. Maybe I'm not African American. Maybe I'm African African. Or maybe I'm a, I'm I'm just British. Maybe I'm French. Maybe I'm actually Chinese. You don't know. Uh, but I'm actually going to have a look at the different kind of genetic sources that we've got here. So your your grandparents will feed into uh, that column below, which says mom and dad, uh, or mum and dad, if you're going to say it correctly. Uh, so our mum's mother, which is a bit weird, because instead of just saying mom's mom, or mum's mum, as it should be, it's got mum's mother. Uh, so we've got a variety of different choices. We've got grandma one, who's white and blonde. Grandma two, who's black. And actually, she looks kind of Hispanic, maybe, or Indian. Definitely looks like a man, though. Uh, okay, so what else have we got? We've got uh, mum's mother, grandma three. Uh, again, slightly mannish, uh, which is very odd. Uh, okay. Grandma 4. Uh, then, yeah, again. I mean, are they supposed to look very old and witch-like or mannish? It's quite a small picture. Uh, we're going to go through this. Now, I actually am white. So, I'm going to try and keep it a bit realistic. I'm not going to go for some of these uh, the, the darker-skinned. Uh, individuals on there, because we can't comment on their race, because they're not real. So race doesn't come into it. Uh, now, my real-life grand, she wasn't red hair. We'll go for this one, uh, for my mum's mum. Uh, my mum's dad! Okay, so, let's have a look. Again, he wasn't black. Uh, he was a white man, he did have grey hair. Uh, and I'm looking, as you go through, obviously it changes the appearance of your mum, which then feeds into your kind of genetic background uh, and that looks pretty close okay this tab here as it says on the left hand side there select if your mum's features are influenced more by her mum or her dad now thinking about it it's probably a little bit more on the dad's side if, if we're being realistic with things now the dad's mother and dad's father or father's father uh, okay so we've got granny which is very strange, because that tab is grandma. Oh, that's very strange. I, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one, actually, who's like mum or dad says, right, these are my parents. However, although I call them mum or dad, you have to give them a very specific type of honorary title. So you can't call them Grammy. You can't call them granny. You can't call them grandma. You have to call them nanny for example, or this is my dad, you can't call him granddad, or grampy, you have to call him popper, for example. Uh, not that that happens to me, specifically those names, but I have known it's it's come on there. Uh, again, let me know. Which is your favourite? What's your dad's dad called? What's your dad's mum called? And likewise for your mum's side of the family. Uh, now here, Obviously, the programmer has decided that is an, a useful thing to include. I'm not sure why. But let's stop worrying about it. There's nothing to worry about there. We're going to go through these options. Uh, let's have a look. So, my grand did not look like that. Oh, my goodness. That is... <laughs> that is very strange. That's a very angry-looking grandma up there. Yeah, can you see? Is that your grandma? No. No, it isn't. Uh, oh, none of these really fit in with what my grand looks like. Uh, we'll go with that. She, she did have grey hair at one point. We're going then through all of these uh, options for the dad's father. Uh, I had to take a moment to have a bit of a laugh break because that guy looks amazing, the dad. Uh, it, it, the grandparent, the dad's dad, doesn't look like my granddad did, but I'm going for that just because of how my dad's face and moustache has appeared. Uh, so the dad's resemblance. So are his features influenced more by his mum or dad? So we can change that. Let's have a look here. 
thinking about it. It was more, again, on the, the mum side. It's very strong female genes out there. So who do I look more like? My mum or my dad? I'm going to say a bit more like my dad. I love him the moustache. Uh, okay. We're done. Let's go back. We're down to appearance. Okay. Make style choices to tailor your appearance. I can buy clothes in stores across San Andreas to customise my look further. Age. What's the youngest I can have? The oldest I can have. Okay, the youngest is 21. I am not 21. I wish I still was. I'm creeping up. Okay. Uh, thankfully, not 40. Look at the difference between 21 and 40. My goodness, she looks like she had acid thrown on her. I I'm not far off coming up to that in the grand scheme of things. Uh, I'm going to go for 32. That sounds like a nice random age to choose. Uh, I don't really want to give out my real age because this is YouTube and some people are a bit weird about stuff like this. Hair. Okay, so this is the hairstyle. Am I a bob? Am I a braids type of man? A braided mohawk. Now, unfortunately, Rockstar, you've, you've uh, shot yourself in the foot here because I can't really make out the styles uh, when the hair is dark. So we're going to have to change the hair colour to a lighter one. Let's go for blonde at the moment. I'm not blonde, but just so we can see the different hair. So braided mohawk looks bloody ridiculous. Uh, a ponytail. That's that's nice and simple. Uh, pigtails. Ooh la la. Very nice. I'm not liking the slightly mannish look of my character's face with that hair. A layered bob. Because uh, when you've got multiple people called Bob, all standing on each other's shoulders, short. That's nice. A wavy Bob. So when you've got a Bob in the distance trying to get your attention, maybe to warn you about an incoming uh, tidal wave, for example. Uh, a top knot. Ah, now that. That's good. Look at that. Business-like. Functional. Keeps out your hair. Zombies can't grab it. That could be it. Shaved bangs. That's very Fallout, isn't it? I imagine if I was a raider, we'd be looking like that. Okay, Pixie. Again, nice. Functional. Uh, I'm sure we've all played the Walking Dead series of games. If not, you must. It is wonderful. Uh, although, I've only played partway through the first episode. Maybe we can pick that up as another Let's Play if this one seems to technically go right. Because I would love to actually finish it uh, and, and see... If we can get Clem to safety. Uh, so yeah, Pixie. Uh, in, in that game, uh, one of the main characters, spoiler alert, tells a little character, a little girl called Clem, to cut her hair short. Because that will keep her safe from zombies. I can't grab her hair. Uh, very, very sensible advice there. And a Pixie cut might be useful. So loose tied, a long bob. So uh, bob. He's finished waving. He let you know about the tsunami. But, however, the tidal wave came in. It washed him over. He got trapped under a car. But some debris caught his legs and stretched him out. He did survive. Thankfully, the waters receded in time. But he's now forever known as Long Bob. I salute you, Long Bob. Thank you for warning me about that tsunami. French twist. Ah. Oh, so that's what the hairstyle's called. I have seen it. I think it's silly. I look a bit like Marge Simpson. We're not going for that. Fauxhawk. Now, it's very rugged. It's very masculine. Uh, normal Bob. No. We are going to go for a layered Bob. A layered Bob looks nice. Multiple Bobs all standing on top of one another. Now, I'm not blonde. I'm not auburn. I'm not, I'm not that light brown. We're going to go for black. Makeup. Natural look. Cat size. Oh dear. I look like I've been crying. Chola? Chola? Collar? What's what's that? Collar? It it looks very tarty, I have to say. Vamp. Uh, as in vampire. Or I'm I'm assuming the more traditional meaning of the word, vamping, as in kind of looking like I'm very covered in makeup and very tarty but for hilarious style. Uh, Vinewood Glamour. Now, that looks nice. Nice red lips, like I've been drinking uh, and, uh, strawberry and bongo, and I dribbled a bit. Bubblegum. Oh, very stylish. Look at that. Look at those beautiful... Oh, those beautiful pink eyes. Um, kind of look like I have pink eye, 
Not sure I want to go with that one. Aqua Dream, Pin Up, Purple Passion. Uh, these are sounding very rude. These are sounding more like the type of adult products you could get from a specialist shop. Uh, smoky cat eyes or cat eyes. Sorry, not cat eyes, because they're they're in a road somewhere. Uh, and they're not going to reflect if a headlight shines on them. Although Rockstar, get that implemented. I will buy it as DLC. Smoldering Ruby. That sounds nice. Pop Princess. No makeup. I think. I think we need makeup, having seen some of the looks I get with makeup, compared to no makeup, we need makeup. We're going to go for uh, the, the vamp, yeah, sexy, dark, mysterious, that's us. Hat, do we want a hat? So we've got a nice floppy straw hat, ooh, a beret, that's actually quite nice, or a dark beret. Uh, we're going to go for the light beret, maybe? No, we're going to go for the floppy hat, because we're going somewhere where it's sunny. We want to be able to shield our eyes. Speaking of which, let's have a look at glasses. So we've got some big old sunglasses. Got some actual glasses. Now, personally, I don't like this style. I see it a lot in real life on a lot of girls. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. If, if you like it, that's fine, and I respect your decision and your taste. However, not my cup of tea. Uh, makes me reminds me of uh, Gary Larson's The Far Side. A lot of the female characters in that, uh, they're, they're weirdly caricatured faces and bodies. Uh, we're gonna go for the red pair. Looks nice. Do we want a crew T-shirt? Uh, the crew that I'm in, the Widowmakers. Uh, we've just got a red T-shirt. There we go. Nothing special. Uh, and and there's the logo. That's not my cup of tea. Uh, we're not. We're not going to go for the crew t-shirts. Uh, we're going to go for this this nice outfit. That looks nice. I look very dark, very mysterious. Getting off the plane. Here we go. Are we done? Yes, we are. Save our creative character and join GTA Online. Let's press A and let's go. Okay, I need to save it first. What's her name going to be? Ooh, now this is a big one. What will her name be? She's got big floppy hat. She's got big sunglasses. She's vampy. I'm going to go for... Uh, Viola. No, not Viola. Violet. And that's because I've recently reread... Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which is a blooming good book. I do recommend it. It's much better than any of the films. Although, the Gene Wilder film will remain specially within my heart. It does have a special place there. Uh, we're going to go for Violet, because of Violet Beauregard. Oh, the character from that book. We're going to be sassy. We're going to be happy. We're going to be aggressive. We're going to get what we want, when we want. And what we want is to get to level... 50. Are we ready? Let's press A to confirm. Here we go!